All right, guys. So in the last video, we created the add player functionality where um, we get a nice form and we can add the player to the application. So now we want to be able to list the players dynamically in the select um, box um, on the position field. So right now we have them um, defined statically in the application but we want to be able to read these values from the database and display them on the select box so if we go to the database you see that we have this uh, position um, node on, in our database just like we have for the players and we want to read these uh, values um, not this one but this one right here um, this is the database that we are using. So we want to read these values in the field so that instead of getting this value statically um, in our page, we want to read them dynamically for the database. All right, so let's get into it. So I'm going to bring up my, I'm going to bring up Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open the terminal. And in order for us to do this, just like we have just like we have the player service, we're going to generate another service for position. So let's generate a new service. And uh, by now you know the gist for this. So ng g for generate um, s for service, and we're going to put it in our services folder, and the name of the service will be called position. And then we want to use the skip test um, parameter so that we don't have any unit tests so I'm going to hit enter and now we have our position service so I'm going to close this up and same way we're going to inject our database object to the constructor so to be very fast with this I am going to copy this constructor uh, because it's the same with what we want to do here. I'm just lazy to type it and For the player service, we're going to import the angular fire database here To get rid of that error Good, so we have this and we want to create a function to get all the positions So I'm going to call it get all which is similar to what we have um, in the player service and so same thing with what we did with that we're going to do this the db dot list and we usually having a model here that we import um, for now let's just say any because we haven't created any model and here we're going to pass the location of the data that we want to get which is position i believe let's just check it to confirm so it's position the other one was players so let's head back here and we got it right it's position so this dot list dot any any position dot what do we want? We want to get what we can use as before value changes or snapshot changes. So value changes gets all the value without the ID and snapshot changes get the ID. So I think value changes will be good for this purpose because if we go back here, okay, we have the ID here as defense like this was the ID and yeah let's get the ID with snapshot changes so we're going to do just like before snapshot changes so dot snapshot changes and then we want to apply the pipe operator pipe and then we want to map whatever value that we get and we want to import map from our xjs so the map operator will be imported from our xjs so at our xjx slash operators okay 
and um, let's say we get back an object x and this would we want to pipe it over we want to map it sorry and we want to map it to another variable say y and this we want to return an object with that y and let's use the spread operator and copy whatever we get there and say y dot payload dot the value all right so we're going to get that value and the reason we're using this map is because we want to get the id like before so to get the id we're going to We're going to use ID and we can say ID is y dot payload dot key and this would override it. So we're going to return an object that looks like this. Right now we have it of type any but then we can create a model for it so it returns a nice value and we know from previously that we're going to get an error here if we don't put the type to be any but let's just go ahead and generate that again so observable of you want to get back any array and then we want to return this okay since it's any we don't get any error but let's just put it here so we don't have any issues all right, this looks good. So we are getting all the positions and we want to use this get all method for the positions in our component. So let's head back to the add component right here. I'm going to the TS file and we have the add player. We have the player service. Let's inject the position service as well. So I'm going to say private position service and this is position service need a comma there and now we need to get all the positions and we can do it on the ng on init so i'm going to say this dot position service and call our method uh, get all which will get all the position and remember it returns an observable for any array so let's subscribe to that and um, let's get back that position and we can console log what we get back just to see if we're getting the right values all right, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to head over to our browser and go to our app. And then if I inspect and go to the console, we get an array and we get the position. We get the name and we get the ID. Right. So the way I was looking at it, the ID won't work because the name and the ID are the same. So we could have used value changes to get just the name that can also work. All right, so another thing we need to do, now we can replace these values with the one we're getting from the server or from our database and we don't want them static anymore. So let's go back and do that. Um, so instead of logging this to the console, let's create a variable and call it position. So position. And we haven't defined any model for it. So let's say it's of type any. And we're going to assign that position with what we are getting from the database, which is this P. So I'm going to save it. We have the position here. And the next thing is we want to use it in our HTML, right? So instead of having all these values, we're going to delete them. And here 
we're going to use position which is that variable that we've defined and position dot remember we have two values their name and id so we're going to have the name here and here in for the value we can use ng value and we're going to bind that to position dot id so that's why we got the id so that we can use the id for ng value and this for just the name to display but it can also work if you are using name for both of them then on the position service you can use value changes since you don't need the id anymore all right let's save that and let's go back to our application and see if it works no it doesn't all right we don't get back um the positions right here because we are just trying to bind ng value to position.id we are trying to bind to it um, but this is an array so we need to loop through all the positions that we get because if we go back here this position here should be an array and not just a single position so this should be an array it should be an array of positions actually because when we console.log it we get it as an array we're going to fix this later by defining a type for the position and we're going to have it defined as an array but um, for now let's quickly correct that error um, to do that we just need the ng4 directive to start the beginning ng4 and we're going to say ng4 let p of positions now we are looping through that position and now we can bind ng value to position.id and position.name but not with position but with p since we're getting each p same way we're doing with the loop um, for the four for the player um, details just like we're doing here players of player and we're using player not players so we're doing it same way and we have p.id and p.name so if i save that now and i go back to our browser and we look at the position you see now we get everything and these values are coming from our database so this looks good this is what we want let's do the same thing um we have here let's do the same thing for our edit if we go to our edit here you see we are listing all the values um in a static way we want to get those values dynamically so if we place that we have an error here because we haven't used our position in the component the ts file so let's quickly import that um inject that this dependency to the edit player component just like we have the service let's have that of the position service and let's import this okay now we have the position service so the same way we load this on the init we want to we want to get this Okay, and we're going to copy that and here we're going to add our position service now this has an error because we haven't defined it here so we're just going to say position of any and we save that that looks good here we get in the one that's selected that looks good all right so since we we have this here we don't need this anymore let's save this and then let's go back and see if it works with the edit so we go to details we go to edit player and 
actually we do need that other line so let's go back and add it back um, yeah because we need to get what the player position is there okay so I'm going to save that and here we have it there and you have the other ones this is the default one and you have the other one selected all right this looks good we're getting all the players from the database and we're getting the positions from the database all right that's it for this video and in the next video what i want to do is to add validation to the form because right now if we hit on submit we have an empty form that's added all right so i'm going to do that in the next video